Hi guys, my name is Ekat and today is another cardistry basic tutorial. We're taking a look at the arm spread. It's a very easy move, but there are certain things you can do to make it better. And it's a move that I would always, always show to laymen when I perform cardistry. Now you might tell me, Ekat, we can go out, we can perform to people. What do we do? Well, learn this move and just show it to me on Instagram by tagging me at Ekat Magic. I would love to see your cardistry progress. This is a very simple move. Once again, grab a deck of cards and let's get started. Here's what it looks like. You're gonna hold the cards on the long edges with your middle ring pinky over here, your index somewhat curled and your thumb on the other side. You're using your left hand, make it fairly flat and you're going to start spreading. Now I'm spreading upside down, but that's how it's going to start spreading, you're applying pressure downwards, your hand could be inclined a little bit to allow gravity help you here a little bit and then make it flat because you see I had it too high and it started to get out of shape. So maybe you start higher and then you lower your hand. Perfect. I'm stopping here because I, I trained to always leave a space here um, in the event I wanted to do a complete turnover. What I recommend you do, and this is the main one I perform, is I recommend you stop at the peak. To achieve the peak, you're simply curling your fingers and pushing those cards upwards, and you stop at the peak. If you go past that peak, the cards will turn over. That's not what you want. And then at the peak, your right hand I guess half of your fingertips are going to contact the peak. You could always do this um, aerial. So you catch in midair in that sort of crane like grip. But I recommend to just make contact. This is a Cardistry Basics video, so just make contact. And then you're going to toss the cards into that grip. All right, so you're just going to give a toss upwards and your hand scoops the cards and there's a bit of a motion downwards because you're, you're kind of grabbing up, or grabbing the cards as they, as they fall. Now, imagine if you were to practice this with a ball, if you drop a ball and you just quickly catch it, that's a cool thing to test your reflexes. So that's what it reminds me of, like just dropping an object and then quickly catching it. That's why I tend to exaggerate that. Um, so when I perform this, I go and I really lower my hand much lower than it needs to be just to sort of upgrade the difficulty level, but it's not necessarily more difficult. It's just more showmanship on, on that side. I'm lowering my hand so that it's nice and flat. I'm simply curling the fingers here. I have the peak. And that's it. What about the turnover? As I mentioned, the way that I prefer doing this is with the cards face down, because the cards, when um, I'm playing with them, they're naturally curl curled inwards. So here I have more control. So what I do is I toss kind of, it's like if you were to put a coin and you just kind of give it this tossing mo motion. That's the motion that I do. I cannot do it very uh, slowly. But let me try to get there. So I stop here, I turn over and I, and I have to give a little bit of a space so that I could catch the cards. It's something you can do. I mean, it could work face up too, just like this. Actually, that was not, stable at all. I don't want to take any risks and pick up some cards here. Oh yeah, that works too. So you see what I'm doing? That's one way to do it. If you wanted to go the lazy way and not do any aerial toss, just, just gather the cards back in that position. It's as simple as that. So you start this way. Now, start this way. We're gonna get there and just scoop them back in. That's a lazy arm spread actually. Lazy arm spread. That's it. 
you do that, you stop here, you don't go all the way, you toss up, and it's it's gonna be practice, and cards are gonna fall on the floor many times. You know, toss up, and you see how that you you come at a lower angle, but the grip is essentially the same for catching here. Up, and you go under, and you scoop them. If I don't want any pressure, I revert to this one. And I'm pretty much like 99% guaranteed I'll, I'll get it, I'll catch it. It's very difficult not to catch it. That's it guys. How many 52 pickups did you go through? I'm very curious. And do you practice on top of a bed or on top of a carpet? Let me know. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon, which is like tomorrow, which is like another episode where there is more cardistry. So you should subscribe. Here's my cat. Oh, oh, oh. See, wasn't it worth it to stay at the end of the video to see Foxy? Hello. Hello, Fox.